All right, so I figured that today we'd go ahead and do something a little bit different and something that I've been planning for quite some time now. As of the time that I'm recording this video, it's been a little bit over a month since Blade Ball really exploded to kind of where it is today, averaging 200,000 and honestly, sometimes even 300,000 players when it's update day. Now, of course, inevitably, just like with any other game, as something becomes popular, it gains the attention from other developers who kind of want to go ahead and remake it and put their own twist. Also known as inspiration in the roblox community now while unfortunately i won't be able to show you all of them in today's video because some of them haven't actually released yet we're gonna go ahead and check out a couple of other different games which have sort of taken inspiration from blade ball even though blade ball as a game in itself is an inspiration off of another game being deflect but i'm gonna be honest man i didn't even see that whole entire popularity when it was going on and i didn't even know deflect existed until just a couple of days ago i played it and i'm to be honest it's not for me but that doesn't change the fact that it was a very popular game and kind of what sparked the interest of blade ball now i know we complain about this game a lot a lot of us really really do especially in the comment section but i think in the next six or seven minutes so we're going to really appreciate this game more because right now we're going to go ahead and transition to the very first one on the list which is uh, blade ball except there isn't a sword and you're going to be punching the ball yes you heard that right we are officially on punch ball i actually played this game a little bit uh i want to say like two or three days ago met a couple of you subscribers in here and i'm gonna be honest this one was probably one of the most uh promising of the bunch there is actually some really decent kind of like inspiration games or i guess let's not even call it that because they are just games themselves and by no means do i want the devs to take any type of diss to this so i'm just gonna stop saying that and let's give you guys a quick tour so here inside of punch ball there is uh you know kind of their little limited time skin which obviously right now is for halloween even though it's november 1st but it's actually pretty cool looking they got leaderboards over here and then they have obviously the normal crate as well as a robux one doesn't really seem like there's any type of explosions in this game for the most part all there is is gloves and abilities these are pretty straightforward run dash super jump flash invisible slow so yeah they're really not anything too crazy and the people emoting is actually hilarious but we're inside of the game and obviously the main map here seems to be like some type of a huge boxing ring. It makes sense, it fits the theming, but let's see how this uh, this ball mechanic is kind of working here. Last time I was in here, the ball didn't feel this smooth. Let's see if we can get a nice little win here, even though these guys are pretty decent. Oh man, he got me. So there isn't any like curveballs in this game, which that's kind of boring because it makes it to where standoffs are just kind of like this auto clicking thing. And I just don't do good with that. I really don't. I like the curveball. I like the idea of being able to change the rhythm of the ball. So that way you really have to be paying attention. You either click too early, you click too late. When it's kind of straight on one on one like that, it makes it really boring for me. All right, 1v1. I finally get a win here. Let's go. We got ourselves a win. So yeah, safe to say it's uh, an interesting game. They got singles, two teams, group rewards, and um, yeah, some really cool, I guess, boxing skins or gloves that you can get your hands on. This one is definitely one of the more entertaining ones. I like the actual kind of gameplay. Not a fan that there isn't any curveballs though. All right, now we've reached the part of the video that I was not looking forward to, and that is soccer ball. This game is currently averaging over a thousand in players which is just absolute insanity to me just 30 to 40 minutes of me playing this and i felt like i was literally being tortured oh look at that we can vote normal fa okay never mind uh, that's 
that's not happening you have three seconds to vote or if not it doesn't even matter now i'm gonna be honest man i've played this uh, a bunch of times i want to say maybe like 20 or 30 games i have one win and nine kills and i know there's gonna be that one person out there that says skill issue but i don't really think it's a skill issue uh it's more like a the game is just not okay not the game you see what i'm saying like i clicked at the same exact distance as i did the first time but that time it took me out and that's probably like the biggest issue that i have with this game there is no consistency whatsoever with the ball which is really unfortunate the game doesn't really look that bad i just absolutely hate the ball physics or mechanic or system or whatever it is you want to call it if the ball behaved like every single other one of these blade ball games then this one would honestly be a solid contender but because the ball travels at like micro speed they've been going back and forth now forever and it literally takes like 30 minutes for the ball to get all the way from one player to the other and the idea of turning your entire screen blue and saying you you died is honestly bonkers to me i'm gonna be honest man i could go ahead and play this for the next two hours and record gameplay i promise you i will not get a win oh look uh we got snowland desert it doesn't even matter you want to know why because your vote doesn't count if you don't vote in the first three seconds because it's gone it just like leaves instantly i think i'm lying honestly i think just everything about this game is literally triggering me it just looks really nice look at the ball mechanic it's like the player barely moves it just bounces off of them i don't even know what just happened there because i honestly don't even think i clicked but somehow it registered that i did look at how far the ball was from me there i don't even understand what's going on now on the flip side this game does have a lot of players online over a thousand players are actively playing this every single day so obviously there is people out there that truly enjoy this and honestly i'm no one to judge so by all means if you're enjoying this game have a blast i have nothing but the utmost respect for you what is even happening right here the ball is traveling so slow it, that was the most unamusing 1v1 i've ever seen in my life the competitive scene here is quite literally stick figures look at this guy this is the that that was a 1v1 that was i don't even feel bad that i lost there as a matter of fact i'm glad that i'm on this end i think the game looks way better over here we're moving on next one on the list is going to be anime blitz now this one is kind of interesting because a lot of you have actually commented this game on my videos in the past i don't exactly know the entire backstory but i believe that anime blitz was out around the same time as blade ball except the difference is that blade ball took off and this one really didn't or honestly it could be vice versa uh, maybe this one kind of blew up at first and then blade ball took i don't exactly know the backstory i don't really care the backstory we're here to check out the game and over here we got sword summons you got a bunch of anime swords inside of here and then next to it you had the abilities uh, we got teleported inside of the game here or no we didn't that was just kind of like an ending kill but the next game is gonna start and we are currently running some type of uh dash ability there's also a dash in the game and then the parry so for the most part they're using the same exact blade ball kind of ball mechanic that is a beautiful decision but the question is is there curveball i haven't seen anybody do it yet targeting seems to be really good ball seems to be going insanely fast super quick oh god oh god okay so you have to be really close to the ball to actually hit it so the hitbox is extremely small oh you can't use your ability there's like an ability bar that you have to fill up in order to be able to use your ability that's interesting wait i kind of like that it gives abilities like this ultimate vibe i don't know i think it's interesting the ball mechanic feels nice but at the same time a little wonky i'm not sure if i like it or not let's try a curve here okay no it just switches targeting no i couldn't see because of the trees it's actually kind of nice combat feels really really good i don't see a way of being able to oh there it is right there 
I was gonna say, I don't see a spectate. Oh, and spectate is like free cam here. This is kind of cool. I like the idea of having a free cam spectate, especially for the sake of kind of like videos and stuff like that. The maps in this game look really, really cool. Oh, and the dash ability is crazy. You like vanish for a split second. So I'll kind of show you guys here, but you press Q and it vanishes and teleports you to a new area. Now my ability, I wasn't able to actually use it because we had sort of like this face off going on that last game. See if we can use it now. All right, we're going to pop it right now. Let's see. Okay, so it's just like going really fast. Last a long time too. Let's go. So unfortunately, there is no curveball. So it's just based on straight clicking. So I guess abilities are extremely important in this game. Like right there, he got me pretty fair and square. Oh, and they have like a nice little ending kill cam, winning cam type thing. I like this. This is definitely a good contender. It's changed a lot since the last time that I played. But to be fair, I could also be wrong. I didn't really play too much. I have six kills and one win in this game so this one i will admit i didn't play too much but that last soccer ball game i played so much of it and i just couldn't dude aside from that it's got its own little twist and its own little player base and the game feels pretty good honestly for someone that's looking for something a little bit different but there still is one more game in this list that my opinion has not changed and we've covered here on the channel before but it just seems to kind of get better and better as time goes on Let's go! Did we actually get a win? I think we got a win. Yo, we ended up with a win. Let's go, bro. Now let's transition over to the next game. You probably guessed it. It's not Anime Blitz, but instead it is Anime Ball. They recently went ahead and actually pushed out a Halloween update, part two, actually. And look at how much this game has changed, dude. They got different maps now, a couple of new skins. They got a Halloween one over here. This is interesting. I actually don't have any end. Over here in the inventory, they have uh, new abilities, I believe. Yeah, instant transmission teleport directly to the most recent player targeted by the ball only works if you are not the target then they got over here thunder flash harness the power of thunder to quickly dash towards the ball and automatically parry it upon contact so they have like you know some abilities here that are very similar to blade ball but for the most part the ones that are similar have their own little twist Oh, dude, we missed it right there. But they were about to have, I believe, what they call a showdown in this game. So basically, it's when two players are having a standoff. The entire map completely changes. It turns like all red. It changes the entire scenery in the entire map. Hopefully, we're able to do it. But I, I don't really know how good I am at doing clashes in this game look at that ability dude that's crazy i believe that one is called shuriken where it basically goes around the player okay that totally got me off guard it's really weird transitioning over to all of these different games because they're all played so differently and the ball maneuvers around so differently that honestly it makes it a little confusing but anyways we actually got ourselves a epic skin there the jack o magic let's equip that one really quick not the most appealing looking one but i mean it'll do look 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 that's the showdown right there it changes the whole entire map dude oh i wasn't recording i had it paused that was a bad one on my part oh that's pretty cool dude bottom left hand side actually shows what your ping is as i say that i spike up to 600 ping and i'm lagging like crazy maybe it's not cool that it's down there <laughs> All right, so we switched servers from that last one because I kept freezing. No idea what was going on there, but seems like we're pretty good in this server. So let's jump into a game. All right, here we go. All right, standoff time. Let's go. He was really trying to just charge at me. That last game was definitely underwhelming. I feel like I didn't even get to hit the ball that much. So for this game, we're going to stay front and center.
Let's go. Honestly, dude, the ball mechanic feels so nice. And of course, they got curveballs. So I am already sold. This game is already turning out to be way better. All right, standoff. See if we can get some long range going on here. Show you guys how crazy the curveballs are. No, he's getting close. Standoff. There it is. There it is. Look how sick that looks. Yo. <laughs> I love the standoff effect that they have. If it starts to go really fast, the thunder comes in, it turns all red, it looks crazy, dude. So again, man, this is Anime Ball. They update, I believe, every single week. Out of every single one that I've shown you, probably Anime Ball will be my number one. Obviously, not including Blade Ball. But as far as like the whole clone called, I would say that Anime Ball is my number one. Punch Ball, surprisingly, would probably be my number two. And then I would say Anime Blitz as my number three. Soccer Ball, honestly, I don't even know where to get started with that one. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying these out. And if you do, which one you like the most obviously blade ball is an option but i think it's pretty obvious that we all enjoy blade ball here and would probably not choose anything other than that now if you guys want to see me do another one of these videos because there is a couple of other ones that are well known throughout the community that are coming out very very soon i believe we have anime strike as well as another one called death ball so there's a couple of different versions that still have not been released if you want to see another follow-up video drop a like on this subscribe to the channel looking forward to reading the comments on this man this is going to be super funny that's going to do it for this one like always i will see you guys in the next video take care